check tortoise cam. I don't see him. Not a scam. It's just to gamble whether or not he'll actually be there. Oh, we haven't played like a full session worth of doors. I've played a couple games. I don't know if I will play more. Oh, is it not out on Android? The Wikipedia page makes it sound like it's out on Android. Oh no, it just says. Oh. It says Android 2020, but with no date, and then when you scroll down to release, it says an Android version is scheduled for release later in 2020, and I guess it just hasn't been updated in a while. Um, let's do... This, I guess? Maybe with the one provision buff. Uh, I upgraded the 6P movement dwarf. To a Gaten, which I don't even think is correct. I think it's sort of possible there's nothing to do with the provision. <laughs> I'm not sure. Premium grade won't find any better. Just a peek. That is all I need. Exhaust pipe? What? What exhaust pipe? Fistics purest tea is purest in all magic. Uh, I don't think it's against the TOS. People have been banned for forfeiting a bunch of games, but it's been like way more than 25. We're talking like hundreds and hundreds of games. That said, wouldn't really recommend. You're sort of ruining the experience for the players you're playing against, making them sit through queue again. I don't know, it's kind of a shitty thing to do. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. Yeah, forfeiting and unranked. I think most of it was in seasonal. The guy that got banned. Down with tyranny. Yes, that's the right shout. That's your move. Interesting. Which I guess is arguably worse. If you're uh if you're playing seasonal and you're just trying to play for fun. Whereas maybe some amount of people you queue into on ranks just happy to have the win. What do you mean grind contracts? <laughs> I don't know what the appeal of seasonal is. I think some people legitimately have fun with it. Like a Nero for you in Decline Tribute? The only season I was able to play for more than like two games, three games, was a uh, Blitz. I like Blitz a lot. Mm. Just play. Let's not play with fire. Doing 
nose, mouth, any hole will do. Bring back the bear one. <laughs> the original seasonal. What a mood. What a mood. You hurt my girls. I'll rip you off. Is that clear? I don't really want to yoink it and let him play informants. It seems worse than like getting my traffickers. I think I lose. <laughs> I think I lose. Supposed to just get Fallen Rayla before playing the Louisa. Oh no. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. Maybe Yen Khan can be my Win Khan. I don't think it's my opponent's Win Khan, but I'm happy to try it myself. Value. The king of beggars sends his regards. If the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. Might as well just do this. I don't think I win though. <laughs> I don't think I win. Wait your exit. Falling behind. No, not my Geller. Oh. I guess this is a game where Yencon technically was a Wincon. It took a lot of work, but I think Yencon managed to be a Wincon. <laughs> kind of. Maybe. I think these Yencon dealt less damage than these Enforcers, though. You could definitely make an argument that Impera and Forcer was the Wincon. Lots of hunger. What, the second beer battle hunger tonight? Hey! 
Yeah, Nelfair is the fact that it only gets to play two, but it doesn't have a good leader for them. Where, like, MOBA for archers and NR is good, Onslaught for SK is good. Even, like, Carapace is pretty good. What is it? It does feel like, but you have to play Nilfgaard cards is often the downside of a lot of the funny Letho memes. Sort of the same problem as like the, uh, the Letho Matic deck. Is some tempo. Shoot down, stop dead. Easier that way. Being in his limiting design space for Nilfgaard leaders? Uh, it shouldn't be. Like, if they're able to make a leader like Enslave, I don't think Damien's realistically limiting design space. Let's play two cards. Can I play two cards? I could also just champs charge. Lead for a couple turns with this. I promise you a quick dance. Ah. Ooh, I need to kick a, a raid. I'd rather have the portal for later. I don't know, portal's pretty good. At times nature needs a help. If it lets me pass here, I'll pass, but I might not be allowed to pass. Second in Euro. What's this? I see. Scam. Nope. Still not there. Kind of want one more card. I need to kick a raid, so I guess I kick this. Okay, we get the more card. Eater. So I'll let him have the eater. Blood for foul blood. Why don't train on the cone? I hate it. We're gonna be pretty sad if we get glustied. But if we get glustied, I mean, when we get glustied. Much 
I'm about to be so sad. Suspicious. I'm getting to get glossied into another dimension. Modern prayer is patient, but she brooks no insult. No one has ever been glossied as hard as I am about to get glossied. Adrenaline three. I mean, I guess I play one. It's not like he has all that many damage units. More pain now, less pain later. That was it wholesome. Yeah, I'm getting bullied here. <laughs> it's the least wholesome thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting so bullied right now. Strength matters not if you lack the skill to wield it. Okay. At least he's letting me have my mentors. This is true. I can only be so sad. Embrace the cold, let it sink into your bones. Yeah. We knew it was coming. Not a whole lot we could do about it. We're gonna sit here for a minute. Didn't they speed this animation up at some point? Isn't this not supposed to take an hour anymore? When did they unspeed up the uh, Morkberg? I'm able to title some of the tournaments so that they work. I'm still trying to figure out how to get people to click on the tournament videos, but viewer battles are just like consistently bad no matter what I title them. There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. But I'll usually put like one or two up a season anyway, just as filler videos. See me next if their win comes. Yeah, I I get the appeal. Just for some reason they tend to not perform well on YouTube. I think just the lack of focus. Got business for me. Special prize, just for you, love. Uh, I mean, I've tried. That. I don't know why that would work. 
Like, I, I've tried a bunch of things that seem like they would work. I don't know why winning against viewers would work. Generally, the ones that do closest to reasonably tries to emphasize the meme element. Yeah, I mean, I've titled them, like, playing against viewers. It doesn't really change how they get viewed. They lie and say it isn't viewer battles. Yeah. <laughs> the problem is then the video doesn't make a ton of sense still. Has it's still just a bunch of... Everyone. A bunch of unrelated games with different decks. What? Did he just kill both my smugglers? Why is he not killing my smugglers? <laughs> yeah, something like that probably will do alright. Like, I could probably clickbait that Glusty game just then. You might find this Okay, okay. You got me. I'm the smugglers. What did you miss? Uh, two she trolls and a Vran warrior and a bunch of ones on our side of the board. Yeah, I mean, it's not clickbait if it's telling you what's in the video. There's good and bad ways to do clickbait. The bad clickbait is when, like, it's not even telling you what's in the video. There's no cringe streamer YouTube face with arrows and shit. I don't even... I don't even think that's clickbait. I think that's just people doing... At least in, like, 2021, the arrows are almost entirely a meme. But Has anyone seen me I think like the streamer and YouTube face is just engagement rather than clickbait. Makes the video feel a little more personal. Play Nero. Let's play the first in Nero. Humans are fun, beasts below. Which is what's... More healthy side of YouTube. I mean, yeah, I'm sure if you delve down the rabbit hole of like top 10 channels or whatever, you just like put out a bunch of lists trying to maximize all of the SEO practices, then you're gonna see a lot of the same stuff. But even then, I wouldn't call like excited streamer faces as clickbait, it's just like promoting the channel's branding. I wouldn't even say that's bad clickbait. I think that's fine. Bad clickbait, bad clickbait would be that title and there's no Glusty in the video. Which meetings for views? I don't know about it. I watch a lot of YouTube, but I don't watch side of YouTube. Yeah, like, this isn't clickbait. This is branding. What? Over With the you perfectly not click on it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a thing, right? Clickbait sort of goes in cycles. 
Stuff that was clickbait in 2018 that people meme about being clickbait isn't actually how clickbait works anymore. Like Dream? I don't know what Dream thumbnails look like. Let me see. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, this works? This is like the anti thumbnail. What the fuck? He has a book on this? Yeah. The last, like, four of his thumbnails are, like, the same image. And if I insert a needle here, what then? Hey, Barnabas. wrong with picture meetings thumbnails. They seem fine to me. Still not down. I know how to sequence my cards, I swear. video. It's just a meme on Twitch chat too. I don't know where it came from. Poison my Gezras. This row so the Gizras doesn't move. Nah. Request to just a playlist. a bunch. Yeah, he's uh he's still not there. Still not there. Milton The only good human is a dead No year didn't please. Beat it anyway. It's not a year. Hmm. Uh, he can play anything he wants without deleting the bobs. He can just have it so that, uh. What's it called? That his audio track plays to a different thingy. A different audio channel. You can separate them on Twitch now. Like, if you go into my Twitch VODs, there's no music on them. 
You're gonna kill the geyser with poison. My men know the meaning of sacrifice. I don't mind seeing Kahir on ladder too much. But it's like often in viewer battles, you're skimping on removal. Because you want to do whatever greedy thing your deck is trying to do. <laughs> do not make me beg. There's no plan B on viewer battle decks, typically. Oh, because I'm dumb. There you go. <laughs> wonder how long that's been like that. Yeah, let's just, uh... Let's just win volunteers, I guess. We're the best regiment in the whole plowing north! Before I really didn't telegraph at all. You can say the same thing about like Yuridin's and Ignis though. And Kahir is comparatively much easier to answer. Like you're not playing the whole round of round three under the threat of you eventually getting Kahird. It's just a thing that happens, and if you have the answer, you have the answer. Yeah, I mean, I guess just generally the difference is most decks have an answer to Kahir. And if you don't have an answer to Kahir, you probably deserve what's coming to you on ladder. So it's quite easy to have an answer to Kahir. I always find a way in. Synergy. Yeah, there used to be a little bit more of an attempt at an opponent boost archetype, but it was just Rainfire and Nilf Knight and uh, the thing that uh, benefits from a bunch of opponent's units being boosted. I forget what it's called. Defender? We don't. Standard bear. Yes, that one. If not by strength, then by stealth. Does in your CG, but not Gwen. There's two of them. Eh. I value the points. Playing leader 
here? Why is he playing leader here? Onward, onward! To be showered with Imperial gold! Judge me? How dare you! Cool. Uh, Polly was better. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong at all. It's an Arch Griffin. I've not seen an Arch Griffin all season. Cloggers! <laughs> Two cards of... My last three were Infiltrator, Imperial Golem, and Forest Protector. The plan before you played the Colgrim early was going to be to pass with the the two bricks in our hand and just hope that we had enough points. Um, oh, both larvas in round one. Leader and not finding the dude. <laughs> yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. Happens, I guess. I'm really gonna smurf, is it? Maybe. I guess it could maybe break the Harold. If he plays like any warrior in rounds too, though, it doesn't. Twenty nineteen priests and boats. I promise you a quick death. Use the Vargas to eat the Yigurin if I'm worried about it dying. He can't Gigascorp at this turn. Geek Scorp it next turn. I'm probably okay if he does that. Let's just get down the riders. I wasn't expecting long ship after seeing Drakkar. Probably should have just put that melee.
targeting me. There's nothing wrong with that. Iterations don't matter to chat. The only thing that matters to chat is that you are playing the enemy archetype. Why TA that? Oh, so it takes longer. I will flop off three heads. Squirrel. Uh, I mean, in the spot it was. In a lot of spots, it's a lot better. Not because you get to use it multiple times, just because it proxy thrives. But there, I was just pretty happy to play a 6P Squirrel. And two points might have actually given us the reach with the Alzar LP passed, too. It could have mattered. Um. Play wild on helms. Yep, we are currently doing the rebattles. Oh, I guess I can change my stream title. Ironic armor to Rockus. Yeah, it's a good value card. I'm gonna Nero the Lambert. That should be better than Larva, right? At least comparable to Larva. Maybe three Colchrum guy? Nah. It's a common misplay. Oh. Well, it's deal 13. I guess mind control is 50 50 to be game winning. The other team's not even that good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. He did eat himself. Okay, sometimes you miss both mind control and the deal 13. Did he do? I kill shoot. Okay. I guess I'll do this. Yeah, it happens ten percent of the time. For life, it doesn't seem so good. He'll play a rhizome, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, I did like completely miss the he might be shoop. I just did not get that read at all. Storm on his side. He played a Shoop, and Shoop made a bunch of weathers. They were not very good weathers. I think it was Armored Arrakis. Probably better.
double yeah, the coin. Yeah. Basically, go, yeah. You already played Champs Charge, right? Yeah. The armor can be relevant in some matchups, too. Mentor. We're not losing here. I feel pretty bad if we lost from here. Also value. No prisoner! Okay. Mm. Armor Rackus is just kinda good. Just a good value card. than Snake Rain? Wait, is Snake Rain an actual deck now? Is it finally time for the snakes to come raining down? These cards only had one printing. I'm going to assume that it is not a real thing, as a rare that has been printed in only Tactical Evolution is only going for So I can do this. Bloodthirst going. <laughs> this is the uh this is Snake Rain. Card art is top tier. Romantic gameplay. Eh, what do you expect? <laughs> Green's getting another. Oh, that's why it's cheap. Okay. Snake Rain. Oh yeah, it's not subtle at all. It's exactly what it sounds like. It is... It is a rain of snakes and I forgot to click on my Matic. <laughs> I love how they already have cards with Abyss in the name, so they have to add an extra letter in the middle of the word. <laughs> Just so Abyss Soldier isn't an Abyss card. Abyss Dweller. <laughs> I'm joking. No, that is definitely a Yu-Gi-Oh thing. It happens all the time. There's a card called Frog the Jam, 
who uh, has rules text to not be a frog. I think they eventually are out of it. Yeah, like parentheses except Frog the Jam is on a bunch of cards. I think Swap Frog's original printing says that. <laughs> the Amazon text for it. On the, the Abyss Overdrive. Normal summon one frog monster except Swap Frog or Frog the Jam in addition to your normal summoner set. Not there. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Tortoise just roam everywhere. Yep. Red Haze. Wouldn't Red Haze just be bricked right now? It's the Defender. Dane infiltrated the syndicate. And used them for his means. This is his way of getting back at the uh the humans. Is he trying to rat me? Just links for a few. Yeah, I played a. Uh, I played Zodiac Link for ARG Nationals, and I played a little bit of Pendulum Magician format, but that was just locals because there were no events. Nightmares on stream? Uh, maybe. Probably not. I don't know. I don't know what the game after Cuphead's gonna be. Now. <laughs> okay. Black Wings and a YCS in 2019. I mean, I guess they got new support. I don't know. Black Wings is the an archetype that keeps getting support, right? Got <laughs> four wins. Yeah, I played Black Wings for a one k in. It was the format right after Dragon Ruler Spellbook. What was that twenty thirteen? 
2014? 2013. That event led to my favorite tournament report that I ever wrote. It was about the best part about Black Whirlwind. Oof. <laughs> A noble attempt. 